which means that my days are filled with logic and reason and evidence. And while that's good for improving our understanding of the world, it means our proverbs aren't as meaningful as their traditional counterparts. For example, absence makes the heart grow at the same rate it was growing previously. <laughs> or, cleanliness is next to godliness, but only if you have a really cheap dictionary. <laughs> or my personal favourite, life doesn't begin at 40, which I found out the hard way when I took a 39-year-old to an abortion clinic. <laughs> Unemployment isn't high because of the recession, it's because people are stuck at home twiddling their thumbs trying to make up an example of when they last displayed leadership skills. Um, like some of the questions, I still don't know what they mean. Like, please explain why you'd be a suitable candidate for this job. Um, I'm pretty sure that's your job. Someone has hired you to use the available evidence to find out whether or not I'd be a suitable candidate. I'm not doing your work for you. What did you put as your answer? I'm good at forms. Please explain why you apply to your chosen location, because it's where you are. And anyway, it's Coventry, not freaking Paris or Rome. I'm not applying for a chance to experience the cultural sites. If anything, I'm applying in spite of that. Or please give an example of when you've last communicated effectively. Why? What do you think we're doing right now? Typing coherent sentences instead of slamming my face against the keyboard and hoping for the best. It's sufficient evidence. I did not get that job. Um, I must have filled in like 10 applications in the end, but I was helped by the world's greatest invention, Cut and paste. It was only afterwards that someone pointed out that we should use copy and paste. <laughs> Ended up sending in one complete application in nine. <laughs> <laughs>